Hello everyone, Agent X007 here. In this video I will show you a short guide for overclocking and undervolting your GPUs on Turing and Pascal. So you need MSI Afterburner and GPU-Z and you go like this. Launch the MSI Afterburner, go to Voltage and Frequency Curve Editor and check maximum value that you have. In my case it's 1911 and decrease it by 400 megahertz this is the highest that MSI afterburner allows when you apply the new setting it will drop the frequency curve down so the highest point is now 1506 and uh, based on this you can set whatever voltage you want with whatever frequency you want that is higher than this point so we pick 905, 825, no, we go 750, 750 millivolts and go to 1620 megahertz, for example. Now, the crucial part, this point, the new point must be higher than the highest point on the lowered, on the lowered curve curve so 1506 is lower than 1620 so everything is fine close the editor click apply and if you when you go to editor again this is a crucial step because you have to check if it's applied so if it if it is you will see something like this so again 1620 750 and it goes all the way to the end of the curve so everything is okay and this is basically it you overclock the card because the frequency is higher than the max boost that is uh, shown in the GPU Z because in my case max boost is oh, sorry the boost clock not the max boost the max boost is 1911 but the boost that the uh, GPU Z sees is 1582, and that's NVIDIA boost. And like you can see here, we have 1620 megahertz on the GPU. And again, 750 millivolts as the voltage. Now I will reset it so that you guys can see how it uh, how it performs when it's defaulted. So 1885 and 1.04, 1.05 volts. Uh, this is way, way, way too high for the default or the stock, stock uh, cooling on this card, by the way. So it's basically useless for me. That's why I underclock it as much as I can. Or not underclock, I undervolt it. So this is it. Um, the only thing that you need to know also is when you tweak the voltage, the voltage frequency curve and you screw up, it's not stable, it's uh, crashing or anything of the sorts, always reset, always, always reset. This is, uh, this is the most crucial part if you want to do this stably, because if you try to change the already changed voltage frequency curve, um, it uh, may not work it may it may do weird stuff so don't do it trust me just reset and everything will be fine and that's basically that is <coughs> sorry that's basically it thank you for watching and see you around